What a game. Welcome to the world's toughest culinary competition, Next Level Chef. Every great chef had to start at the bottom and work their way up. So I've created a three-level culinary proving ground like you've never seen before. Let's go! Let's go, gotta move. Each week, these chefs will be battling to level up. Hurry up! And the only way to move to the top is to cook your way up. Can you rise above the rest? Those cooking on the top level will get the first pick of ingredients. I got the lobster. Oh, yeah. If you're down in the basement, you'll have to make do with what's ever left. This is like things you find at the Goodwill on sale for a dollar. Once again, Naisha Arrington. You want to stay in this top level kitchen? Richard Blaze. Make it look beautiful. And I are going head to head. We are not going down the floor tonight to find the next great talent. This season, we've already handpicked our teams of talented home cooks, social media chefs, and professionals. I'm gonna fight, scratch, and claw my way to the top. With an amazing one-year mentorship and $250,000 on the line, the journey to the top starts tonight. Their first challenge is to level up a classic dish in only 45 minutes with whatever ingredients they can grab from the platform. It's like fighting for your last meal. And by the end of tonight, one chef will leave the competition for good. If there was ever a time for you to cook the best dish of your lives, this is it. This is the evolution of cooking competitions. And it starts right now. I'm hearing some activity. Oh my goodness, I wonder who picked me. I know that most people are gonna say they would love Chef Gordon to be their mentor, but I've been dreaming about Chef Arrington. Who do we got? Listen up, I know we randomly drew the basement for our first challenge, but I promise you, we can still cook our way to the top. Let's go! What do we got? We're just rushing. Get out of here! Oh my God, I am so freaking stoked to be on Team Ramsey. We are gonna absolutely knock this out of the park. Remember, I have handpicked each and every one of you. All of you will have 45 minutes to create a next level dish. And remember this, I do not like losing. Nope. And nor should you. Okay, I can die happy now. Gordon Ramsay picked me. <laughs> We're still waiting for our chef. Let's go! Let's go! This is where I want to be. I was an athlete my whole life, and I have pre-game jitters. Grab your aprons. Champions wear blue. We're ready, game on, like, time to play. We were very lucky getting the top level in the random draw today. It means you get the best ingredients and best equipment to work with. Now it's go time. Platform's on the way. Here we go, when the light's green, it's go. Go time, go. here we go. I ran track in high school. I'm small, but I'm a fireball. I literally will. Yes, we are off. Okay, what do we got? Being on the top floor, you have all these amazing ingredients, everything you can imagine. And then I see this beautiful filet. So I'm gonna grab this filet. I know how to cook this. We're gonna grab a bunch of things. You should already have a few things in your hands. You're on the top level. Grab the good ingredients. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm panicking. It's like fighting for your last meal. Uh, don't be afraid of jars, cans, flavor. 10 seconds. I grabbed the ground turkey, but it wasn't top tier. Five, four, Three. I'm at the top level. I'm trying to present a top level plate. It's like, what the hell are you gonna make out of this? Two, one, if you can grab it, you can get it. Stand by, stand by. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Sheer bloody panic. Think about it, come on. Scallops, I see scallops. I'm like, okay, I love a good scallop. 
I'm ready to bust out a next level dish. Just really show them like who I am on a plate. Look at those ingredients, tuna, great choice. There's people flying around, they're looking for ingredients. Man, we're just like chickens with no hands running around this kitchen. 20 seconds to go, come on, ingredients, starch, herbs. Five, four, three, two, one, it's going guys, it's going, let's go. Well done. After all the anticipation, here it comes. Go. Grab your ingredients. Get as many as you can. I'm grabbing with zero plan, just trying to get to anything that's left. All I see are things that I absolutely do not want because it's so sparse. Five, Come on. four, three, two. I grab imitation crab. It's not a better option. One. That's it. If it's still here, grab it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What am I supposed to do with yogurt? I'm Puerto Rican. I don't know how to cook with yogurt. 45 minutes starts now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 45 minutes to make your first impression. Here yes, chef. Chef. It's your chance to wow us. Just under 45 minutes to go, guys, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Well, let's go. Won this team to victory. Right, Mark, how are you feeling? Feel good, chef. Good. Why go for shrimp? I'm a seafood guy, and shrimp is kind of like my staple. I like shrimp, a little garlic, a little heat. Don't know the cook them. OK. Yes, yes Be chef. smart, and they take seconds to cook. Yes, chef. Give me a little bit of history. How did this start? Watching my grandma cook in the backyard, <laughs> barbecuing over open fire, and then obviously my career going to the National Football League. And a nice job by Mark McMillan. My name is Mark McMillan. I'm a retired NFL player. Now, I always told my brother that one day I'm going to play in the NFL. People are like, you're too small, you're not going to make it. But I just kept grinding away at it, and eight years later, I was in the National Football League. McMillan again. Boy, that is a competitive guy. Coming from a sports background, I'm very competitive. Anything I put my mind to, I want to win. Spending eight years in the National Football League, that's all you know. Now I find my new passion with cooking. I'm not a professional chef, just a home cook, but now I'm getting the opportunity to cook against some amazing chefs. And I want people to see that anything is possible. So don't count me out. I want to see that background brought into this kitchen. Yes, Chef. Yeah? I'm excited. I always was the underdog. Yes. Now, I feel like I'm the underdog again in this whole competition, and I want to win. Yes, Come Chef. On. Let's crush it, you guys. Let's freaking crush it. Yeah, baby. A lot of stress. A lot of stress. Cassie, what did you grab protein-wise? I grabbed ground beef. I'm going to make a ground beef dumpling, a jammy tomato, which is a fusion of a dish my mom always made me, which is a tomato egg, and then infuse it into the dumpling. The biggest influence growing up was who? My mother, and she'd be really proud of me. She taught me how to cook. We never ordered takeout when I was growing up. She'd come home after a long day after work, and she would cook for my entire family. And now I'm kind of the cook of the family. Mm, I love that. Make sure that filling inside is seasoned Absolutely. beautifully. I want the intensity hot in here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, me. I smell some amazing aromas coming off this station. I feel the love. You feel the ancestors. Yes, ma'am. you feeling, ma'am. It is so fascinating to me that the chicken oysters made it all the way down to the basement. I am very excited about that. What's your vision? Make like a pollo guisado, which is like a stewed chicken. Yum. It's very How are we developing Puerto flavor? Rico. I threw in some paprika, some garlic powder, onion powder, Amor. some cumin, oregano, la cantidad que te diga tu corazón. Allá. Aya, it's here for it. Lori, chef. Yes, chef. Your ingredients look great. I've never worked with black cod, but I'm thinking sear it, baste it with a lot of butter so the skin can get nice and crispy. Make sure there are no bones in the black cod. Yes, chef. They have very thin bones. Okay, chef? Yes, chef. Let's go, chefs. Hello, chef. Hello, chef. How are you? I'm good. Talk to me about your dish, April. We have grits and imitation crab. Amazing. It's something I am familiar with, so I grabbed it. Now I just have to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Southern comfort classic exactly. kind of vibe, going with your wheelhouse of cooking. I figure start out with where I'm comfortable. comfortable. Make sure those grits are cooked through, right? Yes. I do not want to lose to the bottom floor. Good, guys. We're good. We're good. Please keep it elegant and classy up here. You're on the top floor. Kamalia, what do we got? Some jerk meatballs. Some uh, ground turkey? Uh, yes. On the top level? Yes. 
Oh my gosh, that's not, not usually an ingredient you see on, on you know, know. Uh, fine dining restaurants, really, right? I know. But it's the one that you cook with a lot, right? Yes. Okay. Ground turkey jerk meatballs is what I decided to come up with. How do you make that a top tier dish? Don't worry. You no, you're not going to let me down. I'm you letting never myself let me down. down. I just don't want him to look at me different and be like, oh, I handpicked her and I'm disappointed. That's the last thing I want to do is disappoint him. Maureen, you have so much flavor going on over here. Always. I'm going to sear the ocean trout, and then I'm making, like, a curry sauce with the tomato paste, the anchovies, the spices, and then I'm making a puri, which is just, like, a handmade bread. You had a lot of work to do, okay? Yeah. Okay, Daryl, what are we thinking over here? So you're grilling the lamb. Yeah. What's the rest of the dish? Vegetable medley, basically. Make sure that the broccoli's not raw. Okay, I will. And we're doing this for the ATL. Oh, did someone say ATL? ATL. Let's go. Yeah, sure. Keep it going, yes? Right, Preston, what'd you grab? Some cauliflower, some canned meat. Canned meats. That kind of stuff normally ends up in the basement. Yes, Chef. I have to remind myself that you're 19 years of age. I mean, I've just been cooking as long as I can remember, Chef. I've always had this hunger and passion, and I just want to keep pushing myself. Been watching you since I was seven or eight. Am I that old? I mean, you look pretty good to me, Chef. Trust me, I am honest. <laughs> Right, Vinny, how are you feeling? Oh, great, Chef. The tuna, what are you doing? I'm going Italian over here. I think I'm going to sear it at the end, incorporate the mushrooms with it. The great Chef Gordon Ramsay, he's talking to me. I am starstruck. It's Gordon Ramsay. I've been watching you my whole life, but uh, I've been watching. Oh, cut. Vinny, what are you doing? Uh oh, then medic needs to come out here. Medic. Medic, hurry up. Two minutes of the challenge, but one finger down. Vinny is just bleeding. Slice the nail off. Uh, medic? Slice the nail off. Um, where's the medic? Yeah, just nick the, the top yeah, of the finger yeah. off. Quick, please. Dude, yeah. not Thanks, the best chef, start. Let's go. What's happening is uh, I lost one of my favorite shirts. <laughs> 35 minutes to go, yes? 35 minutes. Yes, Nuri, with all that height on yourself, you must have a nickname. Yeah, Chef Stretch, yeah. Chef Stretch! Chef Stretch, yeah. <laughs> buddy of mine saw me reach up. He's I, like, wow, Stretch, and it just stuck ever since, Chef. Oh, amazing. <laughs> chef Nuri Stretch. Yes, Chef. What's up, girl? <laughs> I'm Nuri, I'm from Maryland, I'm 22 years old, and I'm a professional chef. I do in-home private events, catering. I've cooked for a few NFL players. Dinners, birthday parties, you name it, I do it. The age of like five years old, I knew I wanted to be a chef. I didn't watch cartoons, I watched cooking shows. That was my after-school entertainment. I am gonna be a dad, I'm so excited. And I'm having a baby girl. I'm gonna be the best dad in the whole world. I want to be a role model and an inspiration. I'm trying to win this competition for my baby girl to give her an amazing life. I have what it takes to be the next level chef. Chef Stretch is coming. Bring it home, chef. Yes, yeah, chef, I got you. Work. Please work. Chef Pilar, talk to me about your ingredients. I have squid. My vision is a Frito Misto with the coconut curry sauce. Why are you here today? I'm here to prove that with dedication and passion, you can make it places like here. I'm ready. I see it in your eyes, girl. You look fierce. You're going to leave here with $250,000. No other choice. I believe no in you. No other way. The basement does not compare to what I'm used to. I did the Oscar Awards, I did Emmys. This is like things you find at the Goodwill on sale for a dollar. <laughs> oh my God, I can't get this open. Bit of a setback there. That's right, Chef, okay. I'll bounce back, yeah. baby. You know you've got the tuna that takes literally two minutes each side. You're gonna yeah. go round there, where are we going? Round. Woo, got this, y'all. Yes, we do. Oh, boy, the heat is on. Amazing ingredients. What I am worried about is Vinny. Slice his finger within two minutes. But my goodness, is he confident. Tucker. Chef. How are you feeling? A little scrambled by the grab, but I'm chilling, Chef. I grabbed some scallops, and I grabbed the chickpeas. What in the absolute is this? Who puts these together? Is that all you got? No other veg? You just got chickpea? Correct, Chef. Wow, nothing else? I am obviously panicking. Oh, God, and Chef Gordon Ramsay's right here. Okay, get creative. Yes, okay, sir. yeah. My name's Sucker. I'm from San Francisco and I'm a professional chef. I got out of kitchens just because of the pandemic, so I teach classes online. What up, guys? I'm Chef Sucker. Welcome to Truffle Shuffle. I've picked up all these little tips and tricks at all these really cool restaurants, and so I love sharing that with people. I want everybody to up their culinary game, and then they can make awesome food at their house. 
I hope to be an inspiration to young gay girls who want to find their way in the culinary world because representation super matters. Like until you see someone else like yourself doing it, you don't really know that you can do that too. I hope that somebody sees me and is like, wow, I can do that because you totally can. We don't have a lot. We've got to elevate that thing, okay? Elevation, Chef. Teeny, how are you doing? You have this star ingredient, yeah. right? You got the filet. You know how to cook a steak because I've seen it on the TikTok before. Ah, yeah. oh. Filet, the mistake people make with filet is they char it too much. You don't want a crust on the filet. No crust? But you don't want it to be like dried out because it's so lean. Heard. Listen, remember everyone, I'm looking for the best dish. Yes, yes chef. chef. This is your first presentation of yourself. This is yeah. fun. I do not want to go into that elimination. Too early in the game. Cook your way out of this basement. Yes, yes chef. Mr. Hi, chef. chef. Hi. Making a little breakfast sausage meatball. Right now, it seems a little compartmentalized. I just don't want it to be pasta with meatballs on it. It's got to be one dish together. It has to make sense. You're Thank doing you. it. You're here, right? <laughs> Nuri, can't believe you got black cod. I know, Chef. My first time working with Chef Arrington, I don't want to look like an idiot in front of her. The thing about black cod, okay, chef. You can, it takes on a glaze really okay. nicely as well. A glaze. Chef Arrington is giving me advice. To glaze or to not glaze. It's kind of, it's, on a glaze, it, it nice does glaze, take on a glaze. Right? It, generally, chef. you'll see that, like a glaze, glaze or a soy glaze. Yeah. Should I take the tip? Should I not take it? I was a little confused. Bring it home, Nuri. Hurry, Chef. I got you, Chef. You got less than 20 minutes. Killing it, y'all. Killing it. Get those things cooking. This is where we're in it right here. The chef. First impressions, lots of great ideas, some challenging execution. Kamalia, I mean, she's got those turkey meatballs up there. I just hope there's a magic wand somewhere because I want Kamalia to turn those turkey meatballs into filet mignon. It's time to deliver and step up to the plate. Right now, we're about 50-50. Matt, how are we doing over here? How are you doing, Chef? Okay, so what do we got going on? So I got a beautiful veal chop. Now, listen, I know you're a big barbecue guy, yeah. right? Uh, so veal chop, that's right in your wheelhouse. I'm gonna nail it. My strength in this competition is the meat. The veal is going to be the star. So you're gonna go sauce, chop, ragu on top? Yes, sir. It has to be cooked perfectly. Beautiful. Chris, I'm worried about you. And why are you worried, Chef? You haven't started your pork and we're under 15. Yes, Chef. Okay. Starting right now. All right? Let's hustle. Let's go, Chef. Bring it home, yes? Yes. yes. Chef. You only get one first, right? You only get one first. Where's the imitation crab, April? It is in the oven. In a cake form? Yes. OK. So it's a grits crab cake? Yes. OK. Winning dishes, guys. You're about to present food in front of some of the best chefs in the world. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. In. Let's have some confidence. My heart is racing 200 beats per minute. I know I'm a doctor, but I need a doctor. Trust me. Alex. Yes, Chef. What's more stressful? The this ER is more or stressful. Or is this Trust more stressful? me. <laughs> this is worse than a cardiac arrest right now, okay? <laughs> cardiac arrest is you do this, you do this, you do that, you do that. Right, right now, now it's all you. Somebody needs to resuscitate <laughs> me. Right, Michelle. Yes. Chicken thigh, great. Amazing flavor there, okay? Take me back to the beginning, Michelle. How did this journey start? I've been in the kitchen since I was a little girl watching my dad cook. It's a way that we bonded together as a big Italian-American family. And how good was dad to cook? He was a really good cook. He was scrappy. That's what I loved. We could have nothing in the house, and he'd put together a beautiful dish. That's an art of a great chef. It is. Now this thing. Yes, chef. Mark, where's the sauce? I'm going to make the sauce with okay. the shrimp. I'm going to make the gotcha. I'm gonna cook the uh, butter. You're leaving so much the last minute, so don't overdo it. Yes, okay. sir. You're on the gridiron right now, boy. You're on the freaking gridiron. I'm with you every step of the way, yes? Woo! Careful, careful, careful. All of a sudden, I see this giant fireball. Put it down, put it down. The f Put it down, what happens? I start a huge fire, and I'm only making it worse. It's too hot. Oh, watch your rag, watch your rag. You know. Oh, watch your rag, watch your rag. Get another pan on quick. Get another pan on. Get another pan on quick. I felt like I let myself down. I left Chef Ramsay down. But I still got to focus on this dish. I said get the pan the hot, Mark, but don't burn the <laughs> kitchen down. Tucker, uh, the scallops, you need to nail them. What you do need is a great seal on those scallops. 
They, they take seconds, those things. They're so cast iron. So I know. Um, listen, Don't top stick. light kitchen's upstairs. Yeah. This is the middle brow. Downstairs is way worse. Get that piping hot. We shall. So be smart on that, yes? Good. 15 minutes, guys. Sorry, Alex. You're good, my man. I love you, brother. April. Sauce. I decided to utilize my mushrooms. Amazing. Do you believe in yourself? I do. Great. That's the most important thing. I am April. I am from Muscle Shoals, Alabama. I am a home cook. I found myself a single mom needing to provide for my children. That turned into me hustling casseroles out of the back of my vehicle in the school parking lot. Now I have a catering business. Anything that I've ever wanted, I've had to fight for. That's what I'm bringing into this competition. If you don't fight for it, you're not going to appreciate it when you have it. Ten minutes only. If your station is a mess, your plate is going to be a mess. Don't make it look like mine. It is a first day fire drill. Chef. All right, Kamalia, you've got to get through this, OK? Oh, God. No, don't worry. We're going to do it together, OK? Chef, please. Um, yes. Would you recommend I do this crispy skin up? I or... think so, right? Chef, can you turn the stove on for me? I have kids. This is out of control. Dad, dad, dad. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. You're here. Chef. Yes. Uh, Dad, can you help? Dad, can you turn the stove on? Chef, I need you. Oh my God. I'm an octopus on fire. I'm just all over the place. Who are you, who are you cooking for? Us. Besides my you on the sides. Your children? My right. children, my mom. Well, good. We're gonna do it for them, okay? I am Kamalia. I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I am a home cook. When we would go to my grandparents' house for the summer, while my cousins and sisters are out playing, I'm in the house with grandma while she's cooking. So I just grew a liking to cooking. I love feeding people. It changes everybody's mood. Anybody who's hungry, I'm there to feed them. I cook for the homeless. We give away free food. We pretty much are known in the community as feeders. <laughs> the three words that best describe my cooking, authentic, delicious, so, so licious. <laughs> These meatballs need to be fantastic. You do these at home, right? Yes. And your family loves them? Yes. So then we're, we're going to love them. Eight minutes left to pull us together. Eight minutes. Eight, eight minutes. minutes. Let's go. Let's do this. What's the plan with the black cod? I just seasoned it. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. I thought you were doing a glaze. But you said not too sweet. I did not so. say not to. I did not all say right, not to. You said brown I can sugar make it glaze. Quickly. Yes, chef. Hurt. I want you to cook your dish. Yes, That's chef. all I want from you. All right, I got you, chef. I got to believe in myself. Nobody else is going to do chef. it but you. Be mentor, yeah, baby. There is so much intensity happening in this kitchen. There are a lot of nerves flying. I want Nori to elevate his dish, right? He has all the heart and the passion and the excellence. I know it's in there, but he, you can tell he's very nervous. Let's go, let's go, bro. Let's go, stretch. Two minutes. Now it's go time. Is this the plate you're serving on? Yes. No, no, no. no. Okay. Let's get sturdy. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. I'm busting out in sweat. My stomach is bubbling, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to be in elimination. Plate right here so you're not making a mess, okay? Sure. Platform's here. Let's go, guys. You only have 15 seconds to get your plate on that platform. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. is insanity. It is so nerve-wracking. That platform is coming. We've got to get on. Let's go. 20 seconds to go. Come on. Let's go. Mark, we've got to move. It's 15 we got seconds. We've got to get on. Time is going fast. 10, 9. We've got to get on. We've got to get on. 7, Mark. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hurry up. I drop the plate. You're going home. Here comes the platform, everyone. Let's get ready. Here it is. The platform's here. Daryl, you got to get over there. Last looks. Last looks. Look at this. You got it. You're good. Yay! Oh, God. I got you. That was difficult. There are some promising looking dishes here, let me tell you. But 
This year, we're doing something different. The best dish from each of our teams will earn one of these. A next level immunity pin. What? What? <laughs> My jaw drops when I see this immunity pin. If you are ever nominated for elimination, you can turn your pin in and avoid the cook-off altogether. And trust me, these are worth their weight in gold. Understand? Yes! yes. Richard, Naisha, shall we start at the top floor? Let's do it. We'll start over here. We have some turkey meatballs glazed in jerk spices with a little bit of pea puree and a parsley salad. I'm a big meatball fan. This dish has got great potential, but it just didn't come together. Bit of a disaster. It's just not necessarily a top level presentation. Next up here, we have a beef filet with roasted mushrooms and a chimichurri sauce. It may be two minutes over, sort of mid rare to medium, but it tastes good. It tastes really good. Next, we have a pan roasted pork tenderloin with a pepper and sweet potato romesco. I love the sweet potato puree. Unfortunately, the pork is under-seasoned. Such a shame. A spiced lamb chop with a seasonal vegetable medley. Medley. Have you heard of the term? It's been a while. Medley sounds older than Martha's Church. <laughs> it could have been a keto-style dish with just vegetables, you know. I've lost a lot of weight keto. Lamb's cooked beautifully. But then it's let down with these raw vegetables. Not the most appetizing of sounds. All right, next we have a crispy skin ocean trout swimming in a curry sauce. It's a curry. There has to be enough curry for it to be a curry. Absolutely delicious. Whoever put that together understands spice. The flavors are freaking delicious. Look at the flaky texture of this bread. This is like a croissant. Mm. Great job. Next, a New York Steakhouse veal chop or the bacon and pepper ragu. It makes sense. It's cohesive. It's delicious. Whoever cooked this certainly knows how to nail meat. Uh, it's delicious. It's very chefy. Right, let's go down a level. Please. This dish worried me. Grab three ingredients. Canned chickpeas, scallops, capers. And that was it. Brown butter hummus. To be able to transform the ingredient is amazing, right? That's a true feat right there. One of the first cookbooks I ever bought was a Gordon Ramsay cookbook with some scallops and some capers. It's almost as beautiful. I mean, really, really well done here. This is exceptional. Definitely next level. Here we have ground beef dumplings, a little tomato ragu. There's so much complexity coming off of this tomato condiment. Lovely. Dumplings are joy. Mm. It's beautifully pleated. There's a lot of soul in this dish and the acidity from the tomatoes. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's on another level. This is a chicken thigh that's been cooked skin side down. The topping is a pickled fennel. It's simple, but it has depth of flavor. Chicken on the bone in 45 minutes, and this one's cooked correctly. And it is as golden as Naisha's aura. Here we've got a crusted loin of tuna. This is a type of dish that makes sense. It's cohesive, right? It's beautiful. Here we have canned beef with a cauliflower puree. The puree is so velvety. Presentation is elegant. It's lacking a little bit of flavor. This individual spent his first career timing to absolute utter perfection tonight. His timing was way off. The dish fell off the platform, toppled over. So visually, it looks terrible. It's a lemon pepper shrimp. You drop a plate, you gotta be at risk. You gotta expect to be on the bottom too. To me, the, the shrimp are undercooked. Shall we uh, move to the basement? First up, we have a black cod with zucchini and carrots. Beautifully plated. I've got no idea who cooked that dish, but it tastes like it's cooked by a pro. Black cod is incredible. So elegant. Cooked perfectly. Next up, we have the chicken oyster with an arepa. Flavor-wise, oyster's delicious. I like it. Great choice of ingredients. I want that on the top floor. So tasty. Cocinando con homie. Cooking. 
here a prosciutto and clams over rice. Over rice? Yes. Okay. Strange combination, but the actual flavor is spot on. Next up, we have a squid with uh, zucchini and a coconut curry sauce. Yeah, this dish is flat, and it does taste like it's uh, come from the basement. Next up, rigatoni with a breakfast sausage. Great choice of using the sausage. It's got all that salt and all that flavor in it, but the execution has really let this one down. Doesn't look like a great use of 45 minutes there. Next up, we have a play on a crab cake. It is an imitation crab with grits. Never heard of a grit cake. Yeah, so that tastes strange. I'm not too sure what went on here. I don't get any crab. All I'm getting is Parmesan in my mouth and dough. Disappointing. I'm in shock. That is not something that I expected. This is what I'm passionate about. I have no idea if I've done enough. I'm a nervous wreck. Wow, some very good dishes here tonight, let me tell you. There is a lot of pressure on the three of us to choose the best dishes. Please, Nisha, Richard. To be there with that kind of anxiety and suspense, I'm literally 15 feet away watching them discuss our fate. Tonight, it's not about winning. It's about knowing what we've got. And trust me, you two are in for a rough ride. Gordon, I can tell that you're feeling your team's dishes, but I do think I have the winner. You boys don't know what you're talking about. All the proteins, top-level proteins, all of them cook perfectly on the top floor. Some of your food felt like it came from below the basement. <sighs> Strengths in yours? That black cod. That was beautiful. Very beautifully plated. That dish is elegant. It's very elegant. He cooks with a lot of passion. The flavor was spot on. And then when I look at those scallops, each one of them were nailed to perfection. And that beautiful brown butter hummus. Oh my gosh. Brown butter hummus. So inventive. I think our team did awesome. I think, I think we got this. I think, I think we got this. I have a cohesive restaurant dish in that veal chop with the bacon and the pepper ragu. That's ready for a menu. That pepper ragu was killer. Two or three of them buckled under the pressure. Those shrimps had the makings of something magical. The presentation was off. He fell short tonight. The meatballs are a little bit dense. It's definitely seem like nerves, though, right? Like, there's like, the idea is there. Is there such a thing as a, a Greek cake? Absolutely not. No. Mind blowing. We all did good. I think we all did good. We're in agreement? I think so. Shall we? Naisha, who will you be giving your immunity pin to? It's not easy cooking in the basement. I saw a couple chefs today that really cooked with heart. <sighs> today, the person who cooked the best dish on my team and earned that immunity pin is... Nuri. I'm on cloud nine right now. This just gave me a sense of validation to know that I'm here for a reason and I'm ready to make next level dishes. I know I was hard on you today. That's because I want to push you to excellence. Let's go. Thank you, Chef. All right. <laughs> yeah. This has been a really tough decision for me, but the person who cooked the best dish on my team and winning the immunity pin is... Tucker. Oh. <laughs> I've come out swinging. That feels good. <laughs> Trust me. Keep cooking like that. You're going to be unstoppable. Great job. It's just very validating, proving to other people that I deserve to be in this world. So I'm just going to try to shine my brightest here. All right. Honestly, one dish stood out for me today. That dish that has earned the Team Blaze immunity pin is... Matt, wait a minute. Matt. I just never thought I'd be here in this position. I never thought that I'd be a top dish the first day. Don't fall a level. Keep rising. I got you. Good job, Matt. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef.
Now, of those three unique dishes, only one stood out above the others, and that winning dish will save their team from the dreaded elimination. That dish was cooked by. Tucker, congratulations. Yeah! really proud of myself. Like, I, I did the damn thing. <laughs> wow. Whoa, Tuck. Thank you. Bruh, she just saved your tail. You owe everything to Chef Tucker. Very close call. Team Ramsey, congratulations. And the good news is, the next time you cook in this competition, is starting yes. at the very top, yes. the yes. next level. Yes. <laughs> we got this, guys. Relax, because you've earned it. This season, we're doing something different. The team who wins safety gets to hang out in the lounge and watch the elimination cook off. Well done. Thank Get you out of there. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Super Bowl taking the sub, Tiger. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Everybody nailed it. You're great, guys. Really good. Good work. Good work. Good work. <laughs> now, unfortunately, that also means. Now, Naisha and Richard, you must now both choose one individual from your teams to face off in that elimination. Honestly, I didn't really want to be in this position this early. The person that I'm going to have to put into the elimination is... The person that I'm going to have to put into the elimination is April. Sorry. I'm just trying to hold my head up high. I don't want to be the first one to leave the competition. April's going up against. Richard, please. I'm going to go with the dish that, for me, was the least successful today. And that dish was cooked by... Kamalia. Got this. April, Kamalia. The good news is, you've both got one more amazing opportunity to redeem yourselves. We're giving you both something that every chef in the world should know how to nail. A perfect steak. You'll have 30 minutes so do not hold anything back, because the winner of tonight's elimination will be based solely on taste. Richard and Naisha will join us after the cook to taste, not knowing who cooked what dish. Understood? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Head to that top flight kitchen, and I'll see you in a moment. Kamalia, April, you will both be going head-to-head -head in a steak cook-off challenge. If there was ever a time for you to cook the best dish of your lives, this is it. Yes, Chef. Now, yes, chef. the chef that cooks the best dish not only progresses in the competition, but keeps their team in the middle level for the next challenge. The chef who's eliminated tonight, their team will not only be down a member, but they'll be sent down to the basement. Make sure it's the next level dish. Understood? Yes, yes chef. chef. 30 minutes to cook a perfect New York strip. Both of you, over to the doors. The platform is on its way. My head is in race mode. I have to give it my all. I don't want to leave out of here without fighting for my place, my spot, what I deserve. It's game time. Platform's coming, guys. It being the first time in the top level kitchen, being in an elimination challenge is overwhelming, but I want to win. And let's go, guys. Yeah. Let's, go. Yeah. let's go. Take your time, April. There you go. Get everything. Yeah, there you go. Red wine. I got tunnel vision. I was just looking at the ingredients. What am I going to do with all of this? <laughs> Relax, girlfriend. April, don't forget your steak, girl. She's there. New York strip. Well done. 
good. You would be here. Okay, one minute gone. Let's go, ladies. The platform's not going anywhere, okay? Take a deep breath, Kamala. Take a good shape. I am a fighter. I don't give up. My mom used to say, nothing beats a failure but a try. So I'm here, and we'll give it all I got. Take your time, season in the state. Come get that fat side too, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kamala is in a great position to win it. She cooked at the top kitchen already. April hasn't cooked on the top yet, so there's an advantage right off the bat. April, give me an insight to the dish. Where are we going? I am going to <laughs> sear my... You okay? My mind went blank. Oh, she looks rattled. Oh, yeah. No. Come on, are you good? Yes, chef. Wine will work well with that. Yeah, no, it will. That's, that's, that'll be fine. It's a tomato. Now, have a quick look in your pockets. What have you got in there? <laughs> There you go. There you go. Oh, God. Uh, you're not going home, right? No. No, there you go. Cook home. with those ingredients. Let's go. I'm used to cooking at home for my children, my family, and I could cook a quick meal in 30 minutes, but a gourmet meal, I'm like, oh my gosh. Smells great. Come on, Leah. Come on, baby. Let's go. Ooh. No, it didn't sizzle. Wait. Needs to be hotter. Wait, hey. it's not hot enough. Take it, take it out, out take it out, take, take it out. Take it back out. Great caramelization, but let it rest, okay? A crazy environment for somebody to come in and cook in. I am a bit taken aback. We good? Yes. Got your onions on, steak is searing. Get another pan on there, get your red wine in there, and you start yes. that stuff. That's looking lovely, though. So your color there, beautiful color, okay? Focus on that sauce on your sides. That steak's money. The steak's go. gonna be yes. money. There you go, there you go, there you go. Uh, what do you need? What do you need? I'm just looking at color. Okay. Make sure it makes sense. That's Make what, sure it makes sense. Nothing makes sense okay. that I see so far. If I don't succeed, it would be more than myself that I let down and more than my family that I let down. I have a whole community that has invested in me. April, April, you're 15 minutes away from leaving this competition. Okay. Think about it. Yes, Chef. Next level, next level. Take a breath, relax, you're looking good. I couldn't imagine being in elimination. Kamalia and April being in the pressure cooker on day one. Okay, ladies, last two minutes. Start dressing, let's go. Let's go. Sauce first. Sauce first on the plate. Do not glaze the steak with it. I just hope this is never me. That's it. Down in the middle. There you go, perfect. Yeah. Drizzle around? Yeah, drizzle around the plate, there you go. This is nuts. And lay that steak. That's the star of the show. Right on top, girl. Beautiful. Oh, there, you go, yes. Yes. there you go. Drizzle that sauce on top. Come on, Leah. Start right, the sauce. Side, 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 side. Start stacking the broccolini. Let's go. You got this, Kamalia. You got this, girl. Clean that plate, love. Make it look nice and beautiful. That steak's going to be delicious. Last 30 seconds. Come on. They both have me concerned. They did. At different me points. Too. Yeah. Good job. That's it, girl. How we looking? Clean that plate up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stop. Naisha, Richard, that was intense. Two incredible New York strips. Let's start here. This one here was done with asparagus, sauteed potatoes, a red wine reduction. Classic pairing. Plate looks well balanced. You know, the sauce looks a little oily to me. We'll see how it tastes. Wow. That's cool. Nice. Perfect. I am just trying to remember to breathe. If I'm the one that passes out in the floor, that's going to be a dead giveaway whose dish it was. When I go to a steakhouse and I'm looking for a steak, this is it. Great sear, great color. You can tell it's been rested, which is very important. If anything, a little finishing salt can really elevate this. The steak is cooked to a proper temperature. The fat was rendered. And I love that there's like a proper side here. The asparagus, the mushrooms, the potatoes all works together. And I love the drippings. It doesn't look very good, but it tastes delicious. There you go. Nailed it. This one here was done with a smashed potato, broccolini, and a Worcester sauce reduction. Visually looks very simple and, and appetizing. I love the pepper confetti. There is a freshness to it, which I love. I'm intrigued. Nice little pan dripping jus, but this steak, it's a little bit chewy. Wow, I love the sauce. I love the contrast that the sauce provides. Cooking's a little more medium well than medium, 
but I like what's going on here. Richard and Aisha, two phenomenal New York strip dishes. Sadly, for one individual, it's the end of the road. Naisha, which dish would you eliminate tonight? Is it the New York strip with the asparagus, or is it the New York strip with the broccolini? Honestly, it's difficult, right? These are very close. You have two dishes, and on one hand, you don't want to send your team member home, but you have to choose a dish that tastes better. The dish I'm going to eliminate tonight, it's going to be the steak and broccolini. Thank you. Chef Richard, which dish are you going to eliminate? I think for me, it's going to come down to which one do I want to eat again, right? For me, the dish that I'm going to eliminate is going to be... Please let it be April. <laughs> Please let it be April. Please don't let it be me. The New York Strip with the broccolini. <sighs> that dish was cooked by Carmelia. Wow. I don't look at it as me being defeated. I feel like it was a, an awesome, amazing opportunity. You don't get a chance like this to work with three amazing chefs. So that right there is hands down um, a million dollar experience. Kamalea. Yes. <laughs> when I come to your hometown, I'm gonna look you up because there you go. your Aww. food is delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Good job. All right. Keep cooking. Yes, chef. <laughs> April. Yes, Congratulations, sir. young lady. Great job. Thank you, sir. You've all just witnessed how stressful it can be in here tonight. So stay out of that elimination. Understood? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. And I promise you, it's going to get harder. Get some sleep. You're going to need it. Good night. Good night, Good night, Good night, Good night sir. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Good night, This season, on Next Level Chef. This isn't day one anymore. You want to stay in this top level kitchen? Cook like it. I have never done anything like this before. I don't know if this is going to work. We're coming up there. OK. See you never. Bold or stupid? We'll find out. What I see here is the future of cooking. Someone's going home on the other team. Put the plate on the platform now. How did this happen again? There is no room for mistakes. I'm having a whole anxiety attack right now. Keep the pun down! Do not screw this up. Yes, yes chef! Our next level chef is... You want to change apron colors? No, I don't think Gordon Ramsay would be very happy about that.